Carter Ventures rolled around again and you rolled an airplane from Canada all the way over here. I, we did, and uh, this time we thought we'd leave it naked so that uh, people can see what's inside the aircraft rather than uh, have it all covered up. And it highlights our uh, wood construction and the geodetic technique that all, are in all of our Fisher aircraft. Now Paul, this is an airplane that you've built, but when you look at it in kit form, how does it come to a customer? Well, there, it comes in, in two different ways. We have the basic standard airframe kit, and that's with all the, the lineal uh, materials have been machined and grooved. All the plywood components are gonna come pre-shaped pre and machined. The uh, metal hardware will come shaped and drilled where it can be. Some places it can't be because you drill it during rigging. But essentially, you get all the components that are needed to finish the aircraft, except your engine, your instrument panel, your upholstery, and your paint. The covering material, the uh, uh, fuel tanks, everything else is included with the kit. We also have a quick build option, which does part of the assembly for you, where the spars, the ribs, the fuselage sides, and the tail group are all pre-assembled for you. Now when you say a fuselage side, exactly what is that? It's basically from the front of the airplane all the way to the back, the sides are done. And what we're doing is we're, we're uh, putting together anything that's repetitive or anything that requires jigging. So once you, if you buy a quick build kit, it's more of an assembly process than it is a construction process. And what type of hours would, say, a person be looking at first if he were to buy a kit and second is you buy it as a... Okay. Uh, in the, the Skeeter here, about 500 hours to flying is what you're going to invest in your time on this aircraft and the uh, quick build kit will knock 200 yeah. hours off that. Now, this airplane, when did it first come out onto the market? Uh, it would have come out in the uh, mid to late 80s, so it's been around for a while and there are quite a few flying right now. Yeah, you go out onto YouTube or something, uh, you see pictures of all kinds of different uh, shapes and uh, colors and, and schemes on it. Yep, that is, that's correct. And uh, speaking of that, what, uh, what we're uh, looking at covering this, this aircraft with now is a new material that's coming in from, from Germany. It's called Oratex. And the advantage of this material is it comes pre-colored. And uh, so when you're finishing it, you don't have any of the chemicals or uh, the time needed uh, to, to finish the aircraft. You can like go from an uncovered aircraft to a finished aircraft in about a week. So it, like when you look at that, uh, the original covering material would have to be shrunk. This also has to be shrunk. This also has to be shrunk. Uh, traditional covering material, you're putting a, a, a Dacron fabric on, you're applying it, you're heat shrinking it, you have two coats of, of weave feel, we fill, sorry. Uh, then you have uh, two or three coats of color on it, and you're you're dealing with some fairly uh, dangerous chemicals. You've also got the UV bearer in there, the silver nitrate. Correct. Uh, with this, it, that, all that is done at the factory, and you're literally just ironing it on to the to the uh, structure and then shrinking it. So it makes it much quicker and and much healthier to do. Now, if you were to order that, though, would you know exactly how much fabric a person is going to need for this? Yes. Aircraft? Yes. We each of our kits, we know exactly how much material you're going to need. In this instance, you're going to need about 34 yards of material to uh, to cover the material, the airplane. And you could order it in one color, and then you could uh, put uh, decals or, or on to give you the correct. And that, that's that's what they they recommend is that you cover the aircraft in a base color, complete, and then do your your uh, accents with either decal or uh, ironing more different colored materials over top. Well, with the Hearth. F-33 engine in the front of it, this aircraft qualifies as an ultralight, so you can fly it as an ultralight in the U.S., uh, or if you want to make the, the uh, choose one of the larger engines, you can fly it with a sport pilot license or a regular pilot license. And what kind of performance would you be getting out of this airplane, say, with the little Hearth engine? And the Hearth also has the electric start. Comes with correct, the start. correct. Uh, top, top speed on the aircraft, you're going to be cruising around 60 miles an hour, 55, 60 miles an hour. The uh, stall on this aircraft is very low, it's 22 miles an hour, so uh, you have a, a fairly broad range of, of, of safety in the two speeds, but it's just an airplane for taking off and flying around the field and having a good time, and it's certainly not a, a cross-country uh, aircraft by any means. And what type of delivery time would somebody be looking at, say, if they were interested in something like this? Right now, for uh, a full airframe kit, you're looking at about eight weeks. For the quick build kit, it's ten weeks. So if somebody wanted to get a little more information, get a hold of you, what's the easiest way to do that? They can go to our website, which is fisherflying.com. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.